let's make one video for all of the modern and Charlton comics that I have on two of my favorite characters when I was a kid. Now, I love these characters because, to me, they were superheroes that nobody else ever heard of. None of my friends at school knew where they were. They weren't, they weren't the DC universe. They weren't the Marvel universe. You might be going, well, Blue Beetle's in DC. Yeah, now he is. He didn't come into the DC universe until the new, uh, what was it called? Crisis on Infinite Earths, and that was, what, 1986? Um, I was reading these back in the 70s. So, Charlton Comics. Now, this is something definitely newer to me. I had the modern reprints when I was a kid. These became modern reprints. So I had the modern version of this, and it may actually be in this pile. This one, I've never seen the modern reprint of it. So if they made one for it, no clue. I don't think I've ever seen a modern reprint of this one either. I'm just trying to get all the Blue Beetles that I can. And getting the oldest Blue Beetles before Ted Cord, we're talking about big bucks. That's right, Katie, big bucks. And we got Captain Adam. I don't think this one was ever made into a reprint either for Marvel or Modern. I don't remember it. This was his newer look. And I always thought it was kind of strange that when I was a kid, they actually printed both of them in Modern. The yellow suit and then this almost hippie version of him. I, I don't know. See how they're so different? This is what I'm used to seeing. Now, neither one of these, I don't remember them being in Modern. And there's not that many of them. So it's not like, you know... Oh, there must be like hundreds and hundreds of issues. No, not really. Not really. They only did like 10 issues at a time, and they would be like number 78, 7, or 80. They would be like, the, the way Charlton and all these comic books back in the day did, they kept on the same number, but it was like, all right, uh, we changed it. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's like they kept on printing under the same number, but it would be a completely different name. So like they may start at number 78, printing Captain Adam. And then by 82, they switch it over to a different superhero or a Western comic book or something else. It's like Dell Comics, the four color comics, I guess. But there's at least 1,400 of those. It'd be cool to have them all, but there's no way. And even then, they reprinted within themselves. So this is another Captain Adam I've never seen a modern version of. I've never seen a modern version of this one. Now, I got these over time. These were very costly. Some of them were like 35 bucks. I think I paid for one of them. It smelled like somebody's basement. This one I've had forever. This one is a modern reprint. They had both Captain Adam and Blue Beetle in it. You see, this is another Captain Adam that I've had forever. Captain Adam and Blue Beetle. I think when they double did it, that's maybe the ones they modern reprinted. I don't, I don't know how it works. I'm pretty sure modern did one of these. I don't know. I got this version of Captain Adam. In this version it's actually space adventures but i think that was his earliest appearances was in something called space adventures so imagine like an anthology book that kept changing like the lead like adventure comics like there was six issue run of superboy in adventure and then there was a plastic man shared the shared the comic book with uh starman at the time and i think for a long time adventure was like legion of superheroes I guess eventually they said, you know what? Why don't we just call this Legion of Superheroes? Why are we calling it Adventure Comics? It's just Legion of Superheroes. So do you have any of these? And I definitely have more somewhere else. Like I'm saying, I'm trying to put all this together. But it's kind of hard when you don't have much room. You have a tiny house. Today's a gorgeous day. It'd be a gorgeous day to be out here doing this. And it uh, doesn't even look like it's going to rain. So I'm trying to organize and rearrange my comic books. Get them all together. So I can finally read through them. Now, which one was your favorite out of any of these? Let me know below. And if you are a Blue Beetle and Captain Adam fan, which one is your favorite and why? And which one's your favorite between Captain Adam's suit? Is it this one or is it the yellow one? Because I'm going to be quite honest with you. I, I guess I like the yellow one because it's... When I was a kid, I just thought this one looked so strange. It was like too mixed matched. And Blue Beetle really never changed his outfit. I know there's the Scarab guy from before him. But Blue Beetle's pretty much stayed the same. All right. Have a great day. And thanks for watching.